Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the price of Ethereum is experiencing a major breakout to the upside, as we've been talking about recently on the channel. But first, I'll give you a quick update on the shorter term Ethereum trend over here on the 12 hour time frame. And as I already mentioned yesterday, all three of these indicators that we have here, so talking about the parabolic stop and reverse indicator, the RSI, and the MACD, they are all pointing in the bullish direction, and they have been doing that for around one to two days now. And so, because of these bullish signals on the 12 hour Ethereum chart, I said yesterday that we're most likely going to continue playing out some shorter term bullish price action like some other times back here and back here where we had all three of these indicators pointing in the bullish direction. And not only that, but if you're staying on the 12 hour Ethereum charts and taking a look at this symmetrical triangle pattern in both the price action and the RSI, the bullish breakout that we saw in the 12 hour Ethereum RSI actually happened around three days ago. And if you factor in confirmation after seeing at least one 12 hour candle close, then we still had around two days notice of this starting to flip much more bullish again before the Ethereum price actually broke this line of resistance. So obviously the Ethereum RSI on the 12 hour charts in particular turned out to be a great leading indicator for this breakout in the price, which is why the RSI is probably my most used indicator. You'll probably see it in pretty much every one of my videos due to how accurate it can be. And speaking of the RSI, here on the 12 hour Ethereum chart, the RSI is getting close to overbought territory. So keep that in mind. But if you're zooming out to the daily Ethereum chart, Chart, looking at these same two symmetrical triangle patterns. The daily Ethereum RSI, of course, has more room to the upside, but it is important to mention that we technically still haven't confirmed this breakout to the upside in the price action because over here on the daily charts, for example, we need to see at least a daily candle close above resistance in order to actually start confirming this breakout. And this line of resistance that we must close above is coming in at just above 2.8K, more specifically at around 2830. And at the time of recording this video, Video, the next daily candle close is in around six hours from now. But aside from having a lack in confirmation of this breakout in the price action, we have already technically confirmed the breakout in the daily RSI as well. And speaking of bullish breakouts, staying on the daily time frame, we of course have this falling wedge pattern, which is technically a bullish pattern, meaning that it is simply more likely for the price to break bullish out of this pattern rather than break bearish. And technically speaking, we have already seen one confirmation for this breakout to the upside because we've already seen one daily candle close above this descending line of resistance. So if we close today's daily candle in the green, then that will just be further confirmation of this breakout to the upside out of this falling wedge pattern. And the technical price target for this pattern is at the top of the wedge at around 3.2K to 3.3K approximately, which from the point of the breakout, if you took that trade, you would already be up around 5.5% and the technical price target would be around a 17 to 18% gain. But from the current Ethereum price at the time of recording, in this video to the technical price target, that is still another 10% gain. And of course, if you're zooming a little bit further out on this same daily time frame, looking at that same line of resistance, but extended further out, you can see that this line of resistance has been constantly rejecting the price of Ethereum ever since around December and November last year. So pretty much since all time highs, Ethereum has been constantly getting rejected from this major line of resistance. But only just recently, over the past one to two days, of course, we have just started to see a major breakout to the upside, which is our first major bullish signal since pretty much the all-time high. On top of that, the price of Ethereum on the daily time frame has already formed higher lows, which shows demand is technically increasing because what higher lows in the price actually means is buyers are stepping in at some higher prices rather than waiting to see those lower prices again. So basically, we're finally seeing a shift in market behavior from the bearish market behavior that we've seen over the past few months or so. But one important thing to mention here is the fact that Ethereum, at least at the time of recording this video, has still not put in a new higher high, at least just yet. For that to happen, of course, we need to break above this previous high coming into play at around $3,040 approximately. So basically, if the price of Ethereum can start breaking well above 3,000 and up towards 3.1K, then that would of course be very bullish for Ethereum because that would add to this bullish market structure that is starting to form. And now giving you a quick update for Ethereum valued against Bitcoin on the three day time frame. And over the past couple of days, we have finally seen an official bounce from this line of support which was coming in at around 0.066 Bitcoin per Ethereum. So of course, this is great to see for Ethereum versus Bitcoin as well, because it means that Ethereum is still in this uptrend forming higher lows, which for the beginners out there means that Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin on these larger timeframes here. But we still need to break above this previous high right here, which is coming in at around 0.075 Bitcoin per Ethereum. If you're looking at the top of the week before we can confirm a breakout for this W pattern that is technically forming right now, but it just hasn't 
hasn't been confirmed. And another important chance for the overall crypto market is the Bitcoin dominance chart. This is on the daily time frame. And of course, over the past few months, you can see that Bitcoin has been outperforming the majority of the altcoins out there, meaning that Bitcoin has essentially lost less value than most of the altcoins out there. But as I've been mentioning quite a lot recently on the channel, over the past two weeks approximately, we have started to see some lower highs form in the Bitcoin dominance. And we also have an active bearish divergence in the Bitcoin dominance on the daily time frame as well. So these are two bearish signals in the Bitcoin dominance that could possibly result in a breakdown here. And of course, at the time of recording this video, we have not seen the breakdown just yet. So technically speaking, we're still holding within this uptrend. But if the Bitcoin dominance simply respects some of these bearish signals that we are seeing and starts breaking a little bit lower, then that would be bullish for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And that would also be bullish for a lot of altcoins out there, meaning that a lot of altcoins would be outperforming Bitcoin. And this level of support that the Bitcoin dominance must break below is coming in at around 43.1% Bitcoin dominance. And just giving you a really quick update on the US stock market today, this right here is the S&P 500 index on the daily time frame. And yes, the stock market is still in the green after seeing this breakout in the daily RSI and of course that bullish divergence that I've been talking about for quite a few weeks now. And on top of seeing all of these previous bullish signals that I just talked about, the S&P 500 index on the daily time frame has just officially put in a brand new higher high. And of course, that has happened just after we saw a higher low form in the stock market. So this is simply adding to the bullish signals that we are already seeing in the market. And in case you are new to this channel, if we see a major recovery in the US stock market, then it's very likely that crypto would also play out a recovery. But I want to make it clear that even though we have a lot of bullish signals and we're playing out bullish price action, this does not mean we're only going to see bullish price action because even during these bullish moves, we still have some red days from time to time. So just keep that in mind as well. Shorter term bearish price action is still always around the corner, especially as we start reaching into overbought territories. But this is only on the smaller time frames. On the daily charts, for example, we still have some more room to go before entering into those overbought territories. But anyway, if you found this video useful or simply enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before we click off, if you want to make more money in crypto, whether or not prices are going up or down, these two videos popping up right here are definitely for you because they can help you make that happen. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.